echaron gas pimienta a la niña en los ojos. Estamos aquí por un mejor futuro, venimos, venimos pasando la selva del Darién, eh, corriendo peligro en esta travesía, en cada paso que damos. Los niños sin dormir, sin comer, sin estudiar bien, nada, no estamos haciendo nada, estamos esperando una respuesta porque la verdad... Today we delve into a topic that has been making waves on the internet, the US-Mexico border. In recent days, videos claiming to show alarming scenes along the border have gone viral, capturing the attention of millions. These videos have sparked intense debates and fueled tensions between Texan authorities and the Biden administration. However, it is important to approach these videos with a critical eye and consider the full context Context of the situations depicted. In this video, we will analyze each of these viral videos, debunking any misconceptions and shedding light on the truth behind the footage. Viral videos and their impact. The US-Mexico border has become a hotbed of controversy, with five viral videos capturing the attention of millions and igniting intense debates. These videos claim to show alarming scenes along the border, raising concerns about the effectiveness of border control measures and the impact of immigration policies. In this video, we will analyze each of these viral videos, separating fact from fiction and uncovering the truth behind the footage. This morning, there are questions about plans to send military vehicles to the border. A planning document obtained by the Texas Tribune and the Army Times says the National Guard will deploy armored personnel carriers along the border due to the number of encounters with migrants. No comment from Governor Abbott on the report. Recently, several videos claiming to show tanks amassing on the U.S.-Mexico border in Texas have gone viral on social media platforms like TikTok and X. These videos have sparked widespread speculation and concern about the escalating situation at the border. Border. One of the videos shows tanks crossing a highway with the claim that the Texas National Guard is sending 10 tanks to combat the invasion at the southern border. This video has garnered hundreds of thousands of views on TikTok and X. Additionally, there have been other similar videos showing tanks and soldiers at the Texas border. However, upon closer examination and fact-checking, it has been revealed that these videos are not what they seem. The landscape depicted in the first video, for example, features pine trees, which is not typical of South Texas. Furthermore, the license plate on a car in the video indicates that it is from Georgia, not Texas. Another clue is the presence of a tank crossing sign, which is actually a stock photo from Fort Stewart Army Post in Georgia. The Texan military department has confirmed that the Texas National Guard is not sending tanks to the border and that the vehicles in the video are Bradley M2 or M3 fighting vehicles, not tanks. They also pointed out that the terrain in the video does not resemble Texas, but rather Fort Moe or Fort Stewart, Georgia training area. A small but fervent group of people rallied to take the border back in South Texas. I think we all as a nation want this to end both Democrats and Republicans. In the a video, we witness a convoy of vehicles adorned with anti-immigration slogans and flags making their way towards the border. The protesters, numbering in the hundreds, are seen chanting slogans and waving signs expressing their opposition to immigration. The atmosphere is charged with tension as both supporters and opponents of the protest gather at the border, creating a volatile and potentially dangerous situation. The video also captures the reactions of migrants and asylum seekers who are waiting at the border, hoping for a chance at a better life. Their faces reflect a mixture of fear, frustration, and uncertainty as they witness the protest unfolding before them. The shocking truth behind this protest lies in the underlying issues that have fueled it. The anti-immigration convoy represents a growing sentiment among certain segments of the population who believe that stricter immigration policies are necessary to protect national security and economic stability. On the other hand, opponents argue that such protests only serve to further marginalize and dehumanize migrants and asylum seekers. Right from the start, the tension in the air is palpable. The migrants, driven by a combination of desperation and the hope for a better life, are determined to breach the border. The sheer number of people trying to enter makes the task of the US Border Patrol and security forces incredibly challenging as they struggle to manage the situation. The video continues to document this intense standoff, providing a stark visual representation of the ongoing immigration crisis. The migrants employ various methods in their attempts to cross the border, ranging from climbing over fences to running en masse in an effort to overwhelm the border security. The video does not shy away from showing the harsh realities of this situation, capturing the fear and desperation etched on the faces of the migrants, juxtaposed with the stern 
stern and unyielding response of the border security forces. As the video unfolds, it becomes evident that this is not an isolated incident, but rather a symptom of a much larger issue. It serves as a stark reminder of the human cost of political and economic crises, shedding light on the lengths people are willing to go to in search of safety and a better life. Despite the evident risks and the formidable presence of border security, the migrants persist in their attempts to cross into the US, their actions speaking volumes about the dire conditions they are fleeing from. The US-Mexico border is a complex and multifaceted issue, and it is important to consider the full context of the situations depicted in these videos. Historical context. The US-Mexico border has always been a hot topic of discussion, and the recent viral videos have only added fuel to the fire. Spanning over 3,000 kilometers, this border has witnessed countless historical events that have shaped its boundaries and influenced the lives of those living along its length. Let's start by going back to the 19th century, when the Guadalupe Hidalgo Treaty was signed in 1848. This treaty marked the end of the Mexican-American War and resulted in Mexico ceding a significant portion of its territory to the United States. The border was a officially established, and the stage was set for the complex relationship between the two countries. In 1942, the US and Mexico signed the Mexican Farm Labor Agreement, also known as the Brochero Program. This program aimed to regulate Mexican guest workers in the US. Over a 22-year period, 4.6 million contracts were signed, making it the largest US contract labor program. However, this era also marked a rise in illegal immigration, as many workers who were not qualified to participate in the Brochero Program crossed the border order illegally and found work with growers who wanted to keep their costs low. Operation Wetback, launched in 1954, aimed to deal with illegal border crossings by Mexican nationals into the U.S. Border Patrol agents located, processed, and deported Mexicans who had entered the U.S. illegally. An estimated 1,174,177 1 people, with half a million from Texas alone. The Immigration and Nationality Act of 1965, also known as the Heart Seller Act, brought significant changes to U.S. immigration policies. It changed the way immigration quotas were allocated, maintaining per-country limits, but also creating preference visa categories based on immigrants' skills and family relationships with citizens or U.S. residents. This law also brought numerical limits to immigration from Mexico and Latin America for the first time. In the 1980s, Mexico faced an economic crisis, leading to repeated devaluations of the peso. High unemployment pushed more migrants to find work in the United States. That same year, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that children who were illegal residents had the right to public school education. In the 1980s and 1990s, the U.S.-Mexico border faced new challenges with the rise of drug cartels and illegal drug trafficking. The border became a battleground for law enforcement agencies as they tried to combat the flow of drugs into the United States. This era saw an increase in border security measures, including the construction of fences and the deployment of additional border patrol agents. Fast forward to the early 20th century, and we find ourselves in the midst of the Mexican Revolution. This period of political and social upheaval in Mexico led to a wave of migration to the United States. Many Mexicans sought refuge from the violence and instability in their home country, crossing the border in search of a better life. This migration wave laid the foundation for the Mexican-American community that exists in the United States today. As we move into the mid-20th century, another significant event shaped the U.S.-Mexico border, the Brochero Program. In an effort to address labor shortages during World War II, the United States and Mexico entered into an agreement that allowed Mexican workers to temporarily migrate to the United States for employment. This program lasted from 1942 to 1964 and had a profound impact on both sides of the border. It provided much-needed labor for American industries while also creating economic opportunities for Mexican workers. More recently, the U.S.-Mexico border has been at the center of heated debates surrounding immigration policy. In 2018, the world watched as a Central American migrant caravan made its way towards the border, seeking asylum in the United States. This event sparked a national conversation about immigration and border security, with passionate arguments on both sides of the issue. The U.S.-Mexico border is not just a physical barrier, it is a symbol of the complex relationship between two neighboring countries. It represents the hopes and dreams of those seeking a better life, as well as the challenges and controversies that come with immigration and border security. The viral videos that have captured the world's attention only scratch the surface of the rich history and ongoing debates surrounding this iconic border.
border dynamics, and migration trends. The U.S.-Mexico border has become a hotbed of activity in recent years, with monthly encounters between U.S. Border Patrol agents and migrants attempting to cross into the United States, reaching record highs. According to the latest available government statistics, the number of monthly migrant encounters had fallen to 16,182 in April 2020, but has since skyrocketed to 206,039 in November 2022. These numbers are the highest in over two decades, and are on par with the peak reached in March 2000. It's important to understand the different types of encounters that occur at the border. Migrant encounters can be categorized into two distinct events, apprehensions and expulsions. Apprehensions refer to migrants who are taken into custody in the United States, while expulsions involve migrants being immediately sent back to their home country or last country of transit. In November 2022, approximately two-thirds of all migrant encounters ended in apprehension, while the remaining third resulted in expulsion. The demographics of those crossing the border have also undergone significant changes. In the early stages of the COVID-19 pandemic, the majority of migrants encountered at the border were from Mexico and the Northern Triangle countries of El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras. However, in November 2022, a majority of the migrants encountered were from countries other than Mexico and the Northern Triangle region. Countries such as Colombia, Cuba, Nicaragua, Peru, and Venezuela have seen a significant increase in encounters at the U.S.-Mexico border. For example, the number of encounters with Colombian nationals has risen from just four in April 2020 to a staggering 15,039 in November 2022. Similarly, encounters with migrants from Cuba have increased from 161 to 34,139 during the same period. Nicaragua has also seen a sharp increase, with encounters rising from 86 to 34,162. Even migrants from Peru have made their way to the U.S.-Mexico border, with encounters increasing from 18 to 8,495. While the number of encounters with Venezuelans has decreased in recent months, it still remains significantly higher than pre-pandemic levels. The sharp increase in encounters can be attributed to various factors. First and foremost, the easing of travel restrictions and the gradual reopening of borders following the initial wave of the pandemic played a significant role. As countries began to recover and economies reopened, individuals and families seized the opportunity to embark on their migration journeys. Moreover, the economic, social, and political instability in several countries, particularly in the Northern Triangle region of Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador, has driven many to seek refuge and better opportunities in the United States. These countries have been grappling with high levels of violence, poverty, and corruption, pushing their citizens to make the perilous journey northward. Another contributing factor to the surge in encounters is the changing dynamics of migration routes. In recent years, there has been a shift in migration patterns, with individuals and families from countries such as Ecuador, Brazil, Nicaragua, Venezuela, Haiti, and Cuba, increasingly making their way to the U.S.-Mexico border. The reasons behind this shift are multifaceted, ranging from economic hardships to political unrest and natural disasters. The increase in encounters is not solely limited to specific demographic groups. While single adults continue to account for the majority of encounters, there has been a significant rise in encounters with unaccompanied children and people traveling in families. This high highlights the vulnerabilities and challenges faced by individuals of all ages and backgrounds who are seeking a better life. When it comes to the demographic profile of those crossing the border, single adults have accounted for the majority of recent encounters. In November 2022, seven out of ten encounters involved single adults, while families and unaccompanied minors made up smaller shares. However, the percentage of encounters involving families has risen sharply during the pandemic. As the numbers continue to rise and the situation at the U.S. Mexico border remains complex, it is crucial to understand the underlying factors driving this unprecedented surge in encounters human stories. The first shocking aspect we need to address is the humanitarian crisis unfolding at the U.S.-Mexico border. The surge of migrants, including families and unaccompanied minors, seeking refuge and a better life has overwhelmed the border infrastructure and resources. One of the most distressing facts is the overcrowding of detention centers. These facilities, designed to hold a limited number of individuals, are now packed beyond capacity. The lack of adequate space, sanitation, and medical care has created dire conditions for those 
those seeking asylum. One story is of a young man who risked everything in search of a better life. He left his family behind and embarked on a treacherous journey, crossing the border in the dead of night. The video shows the fear and desperation in his eyes as he recounts the harrowing experiences he faced along the way. Another story introduces us to a mother who was forcibly separated from her children at the border. The anguish and heartbreak in her voice are palpable as she describes the pain of being torn apart from her loved ones. This video serves as a stark reminder of the devastating consequences of the family separation policy. And then there's the story of a migrant who found himself caught in the crossfire of the border crisis. He shares his story of being detained and held in overcrowded detention centers where basic human rights are often disregarded. The video exposes the harsh realities faced by migrants who are simply seeking a better life for themselves and their families. These stories not only highlight the struggles and sacrifices of individuals like Luis, Laura, and Jaime, but they also shed light on the larger humanitarian crisis unfolding at the border. The lack of legal representation for migrants, the overcrowded detention centers, and the systemic issues that perpetuate this crisis are all brought to the forefront. Reports, videos, and stories from inside the detention centers reveal the inhumane living conditions migrants are subjected to. Overcrowded cells, limited access to clean water and proper hygiene facilities, and inadequate medical attention have become the norm. These conditions not only violate basic human rights, but also pose significant health risks. Perhaps the most heart-wrenching aspect of the humanitarian crisis is the plight of children. Many videos depict young children separated from their families, living in overcrowded and unsanitary conditions. The emotional and psychological toll on these vulnerable individuals is immeasurable. Another shocking reality is the limited resources available to address the growing number of migrants. Border Patrol agents and humanitarian organizations are stretched thin, struggling to provide essential services and support to those in need. The lack of sufficient medical care is a critical issue within the humanitarian crisis. Many migrants arrive at the border with pre-existing health conditions or injuries sustained during their journey. However, the overwhelmed healthcare system at the border often fails to meet their needs, resulting in prolonged suffering and even preventable deaths. Language and cultural barriers further exacerbate the challenges faced by migrants. Limited access to translators and cultural sensitivity training for border officials hinders effective communication and understanding. This not only impedes the provision of necessary assistance, but also adds to the overall distress experienced by migrants. The humanitarian crisis has created an environment of vulnerability, leaving migrants susceptible to exploitation and abuse. Disturbingly, the border crisis has provided opportunities for human traffickers to exploit vulnerable individuals. Videos have exposed cases of human trafficking where migrants, desperate for a chance at a better life, fall victim to criminal networks seeking to profit from their desperation. The humanitarian crisis has also heightened the risk of sexual and gender-based violence against migrants, particularly women and children. The lack of security and protection measures within the overcrowded detention centers and along the migration routes leaves individuals vulnerable to abuse and exploitation. The humanitarian crisis at the US-Mexico border is a shocking reality that demands immediate attention and compassionate action. The overcrowded detention centers, limited resources, and the vulnerability of migrants, especially children, are deeply troubling. Surge in Migration December 2023 has seen an unprecedented surge in migration at the US-Mexico border with over 10,000 migrants per day, mostly asylum seekers, arriving at the border. This surge is happening despite a sharp drop in US-bound migration through Panama and Honduras since October. The border patrol sectors experiencing the most arrivals are Del Rio and El Paso in Texas, Tucson in Arizona, and San Diego in California. False rumors and misinformation have contributed contributed to this surge, with some migrants being misinformed about the need to travel now due to the US government potentially closing the border and shutting down the CBP-1 app. To address the overwhelming number of migrants, CBP has closed several ports of entry and bridges, and even closed railroad bridges that account for a significant amount of train cargo between the United States and Mexico. However, migrants are still finding ways to cross the border, including crossing atop trains and soaring through segments of the border wall. The situation has reached a break 
breaking point, with CBP processing facilities at 130% capacity and Border Patrol agents struggling to keep up. The increase in migration is not limited to one specific area. While there has been a general westward shift in migration away from Texas and towards Arizona and California, Texas is now seeing significant increases in Border Patrol sectors such as Del Rio and Eagle Pass. In fact, Rep. Tony Gonzalez, who represents the Texas-Mexico border area, recently visited a holding facility in Eagle Pass that was nearly six times over capacity. The surge in migration has also led to political fallout, with President Joe Biden and Mexican President Andres Manuel López Obrador discussing the issue. However, public perceptions of the border situation are providing momentum for the Trump campaign going into the 2024 election. In Democratic-leaning El Paso, there is growing fatigue among the Mexican-American population with the influx of migrants, leading to concerns about voter enthusiasm and turnout. While migration is increasing at the U.S.-Mexico border, it is decreasing along the U.S.-bound migration route further south. Panama, Honduras, and Mexico have reported fewer people coming, indicating a shift in migration patterns. However, the reasons for this divergence are unclear, and it is possible that the population crossing into the United States now is more Mexican and Central American, which is not captured in Panama's or Honduras's statistics. In addition to the surge in migration, there have been significant developments in Congress regarding asylum restrictions and Ukraine aid. The U.S. Congress has adjourned for 2023 without reaching an agreement on Republicans' demands for new restrictions on asylum and other migration pathways. These restrictions are their main condition for supporting a $110.5 billion package of aid to Ukraine and Israel, new border spending, and other priorities. Negotiations between a small group of senators and senior Biden administration officials have not yet produced a consensus framework, and the issue will be taken up again when Congress returns in January. Meanwhile, Texas has launched a harsh new immigration law, making unauthorized border crossings into the state a state crime. Migrants who decline to return immediately to Mexico upon arrest will be jailed, but Mexico is refusing to accept returnees from the Texas state government. Civil rights groups have filed a legal challenge to block the law, citing racial profiling and violation of civil rights international perspectives and global relevance. The U.S.-Mexico border has long been a topic of international interest and debate. It serves as a dividing line between two countries with vastly different socio-economic and political landscapes. The border is not only a physical barrier, but also a symbol of the complex relationship between the United States and Mexico. One of the key international perspectives on the U.S.-Mexico border is the issue of drug trafficking. The border has become a major transit point for drug cartels who smuggle narcotics into the United United States. The videos that have gone viral shed light on the extent of this problem, showing the audacity and creativity of these criminal organizations. From hidden compartments in vehicles to tunnels under the border, the methods used by drug traffickers are shocking and alarming. Another aspect of the U.S.-Mexico border that has global relevance is the issue of illegal border crossings. The videos capture the desperation of individuals who are willing to risk their lives to cross the border in search of a better life. These images have sparked debates about immigration policies and the treatment of migrants not only in the United States but also in other countries around the world. The videos serve as a reminder of the human cost of border enforcement and the need for comprehensive immigration reform. However, when it comes to Mexico's leadership, the opinions are more divided. A significant number of U.S. adults, approximately 38 percent, hold an unfavorable view of Mexico's government, while only 12 percent have a favorable view. The remaining respondents either did not have a favorable or unfavorable view or were unsure. These results shed light on the complex perceptions Americans have of Mexico's government, highlighting the need for a deeper understanding of the factors influencing these views. The international perspectives on the U.S.-Mexico border also extend to the economic impact of border policies. The border region is a hub for trade and commerce, with billions of dollars worth of goods crossing the border each year. The videos highlight the challenges faced by businesses and individuals who rely on cross-border trade, as well as the potential economic consequences of stricter border controls. Furthermore, the U.S.-Mexico border is not an isolated issue but part of a larger global phenomenon. Borders and migration are topics of concern in many parts of the world, from Europe to the Middle East. The videos provide a glimpse into the broader challenges faced by countries grappling with issues of migration, security, and sovereignty. They serve as a reminder that the U.S.-Mexico border is just one piece of a complex puzzle that requires international cooperation and dialogue. In conclusion, the viral videos of the U.S.-Mexico border 
border have sparked international interest and shed light on the complex issues surrounding border enforcement, drug trafficking, and immigration. They have brought the global relevance of the U.S.-Mexico border into sharp focus, highlighting the need for comprehensive solutions and international cooperation. As we continue to explore these shocking revelations, let us remember that the U.S.-Mexico border is not just a physical barrier, but a symbol of the challenges and opportunities that exist in our interconnected world. Stay tuned for more updates on this ongoing issue. If you like videos like this, then click on the card being recommended to you right now.